They could fire a 2,000 pound shell 30 miles with accuracy. These were the big boys. This is the story of Camp Hero and its place in America's military history. You may have seen this radar dish rising over the dunes on the desolate tip of Long Island, known as the end. Or maybe the forbidding signs that once warned visitors of some unknown danger. Camp Hero and its hidden past is a place of mystery and intrigue. The public was never allowed in Camp Hero. Montauk historian Henry Osmers took us where many had not been allowed. They actually had guards posted on the, on the highway so that if you didn't have business at the lighthouse or here, you were turned back. This was during World War II when Camp Hero became a top secret military base. German U-boats threatened the East Coast and Montauk was considered a likely invasion point. Part of what they call the East Coast Defense Shield, basically keeping an eye on things and making sure that there were no surprises. Two huge batteries, they're about 600 feet long, and each of those two batteries contain two cannons. And yes, it's true, there are several tunnels underneath Camp Hero. Their purpose was to connect the batteries to each other. So in the event there was any kind of an attack going on, uh, they could communicate and go between these installations safely underground. They did fire the guns off now and then just for practice. The shock waves went all the way back to town, which is about six miles. There's some reports that say windows cracked. Along with the hidden cannons, the U.S. military had another trick up their sleeve. We're now in what is called downtown Camp Hero. It's a cluster of buildings that during World War II were disguised to look like a New England fishing village from the air. So if enemy aircraft were to come over, the guns would come up and they would just blast them right out of the sky. When World War II ended, Camp Hero continued to be a strategic military location. This is the radar dish. This was built by the Air Force in 1960, and it had the ability to detect aircraft up to 280 miles away. With the development of satellite technology, Camp Hero lost its purpose and was officially decommissioned in 1981. The site is now a New York State Park. Osmer, who wrote a book on Camp Hero, hopes Long Islanders will remember it for the role it played in protecting our nation. The history out here is unique. It's just incredible. In Montauk, Danielle Campbell, News 12, Long Island.